Hi, I'm Tom from Never Center. Uh, I'm going to show you today some of the new things that we've added in Camera Bag 2.8. Uh, Camera Bag is, our, of course, our image editor for Mac and PC. This update in uh, version 2.8 brings a lot of the features that our users have been asking for for a long time, so I think you guys will really enjoy it. One of the biggest requests we've had since Camera Bag first came out is the ability to zoom in on your images, and as you can see, this works very smoothly and intuitively in camera bag. Um, one of the nice things is that uh, if you're using a trackpad on a laptop like this one, uh, we don't make you do the pinch to zoom gesture. because We found that that's actually kind of hard to do. So just scrolling up and scrolling down does zoom, and it's very natural. And uh, one of the nice things also is when you're fully zoomed in, even if it's a giant uh, image, all of the adjustments still work very smoothly, uh, even if you have a whole bunch of adjustments layered. The next big thing that we've added is um, histograms. So this histogram you see right here is just your basic histogram. Uh, if I just adjust exposure here, you can see it does what you'd expect. It just shows you the brightness level of different, uh, the different pixel values. One of the really nice things about camera bags histograms is that you can drag them to be however big that you want so you can see a lot of detail in there uh, in case you're doing some really intense detail uh, work. Another useful feature is that uh, we made it so that when you zoom in that the histogram updates to the portion of the image that you're zoomed in on. So this can be really useful if you want to see uh, you know okay these window shades are these are the highlights on these in particular blown out? Um, that kind of thing. So it can be useful for a, a whole bunch of situations that we've run across. In addition to the regular luminance histogram, we've also added uh, your standard RGB histogram. Um, and just to show you what this is, in case you're not familiar, if I put RGB curves on here uh, and I just turn up the blue, you can see that it only affects the blue. So this is sort of separating the brightness values of the different R, G, and B components. We've also added a waveform graph, and for this graph I'm going to uh, stretch it out to the width of the image because what this represents is that um, it represents the brightness values uh, as you traverse from the left to the right side of the image. So you can see uh, where there are window shades that have particularly bright values, you can see that that corresponds to this uh, this waveform graph uh, along the, the width of it. And this can be useful to highlight certain areas that are uh, problem areas potentially. And again, uh, with our other graphs, if you zoom in, it will update so that it's working with the zoomed portion of the image, which can be really handy. It comes with a, a luminance version and an RGB version. And what I'm doing to switch between these, by the way, is I'm hitting the number keys on my keyboard. Uh, so one does the luminance histogram, two does the RGB histogram, three the luminance waveform, four RGB waveform. And then we've also added a, an interesting chart that comes from video editing. Um, and we did this because we are making a version of Camera Bag that works on videos called Camera Bag Cinema, which is in beta right now. And in fact, this video that you're watching right now is color corrected using Camera Bag Cinema. You can see here in the, the uh, menu, we call it a chrominance chart. In most video editors, it's called a chrominance vector scope. Um, but it has kind of a complicated, convoluted interface that's sort of a holdover from when you actually had to hook up a, a physical vector scope to your monitor to see what was going on. So we made a version that's, that's easier to read. What this does is it tells you basically when you're maxing out your saturation in your image. So as I turn up the saturation here, you can see that these, uh, there's a dot for each pixel value in my image. And as these get towards the top, you can see when they hit this jaggedy line, that line represents uh, the maximum chrominance at each hue value. Um, and when I'm turning up the saturation, once they start, these values start hitting that top line, that means I'm maxing out my chrominance or my saturation. As I'm saturating an image, I want to make sure that it doesn't run up against that line. Uh, otherwise, I'll start seeing artifacts in my image. Again, I've got keyboard shortcuts mapped to these, so I can hit one for luminance, two for RGB luminance, three for the waveform, the luminance waveform, four for the RGB waveform, and five for that uh, chrominance chart. And so as I'm 
adjusting my image and uh, trying to clock in the values I want. It can be really quick and easy to sort of jump between these, zoom in on an area and see if, uh, if I'm having trouble in any given area and uh, know for sure that I'm, that I'm getting a good balanced image. And then one bonus for our Mac users, um, we've added a Photos extension. So I'm in the Photos app. I've got this photo open. If I click, click Edit, uh, I can come down here to Extensions and then click on the Camera Bag extension. And what we'll do is it will load up a, an interface that lets me just apply all of my default camera bag filters uh, right here within this Photos app. So I can just choose any of these filters. This is just sort of a quick way a quick way to access camera bag filters without having to open camera bag. And click Save Changes and then that will apply that and take me back into the Photos interface. So that's it. We hope that you'll enjoy Camera Bag 2.8. Uh, it's coming out soon, perhaps already out by the time you watch this video. Check our website, nevercenter.com, and we hope you enjoy it.